Hello and welcome to Provis Gaming and RuneScape 3. Get out of my way, Nick Tiki. We're talking to Ali the Wise in continuation of the Curse of Arav quest. Now that we have a full canopic jar from our mummy. He should be able to tell us what to do next. Have you spoken to your mummy yet? I have spoken to a mummy, and she taught me how to make a special liquid to preserve the heart. Intriguing. So there is a liquid that can do such things. Well, that's one step dealt with. Great. Now what about everything else? Well, I have had a little think about things, and I think you're going to have to be inventive and resourceful to an extent. Inventive? I thought people planned meticulously when raiding high security areas. If you bring the correct equipment, you should be able to increase your odds of getting through. First of all, you'll need some kind of insulation to protect yourself from the electric shocks in the sewer. Then you'll need to consider surveillance. Surveillance? Isn't he one of the Temple Knights? What? No, I said surveillance. Some way of remotely viewing what is happening in secure areas. Oh, and no great heights is complete without the use of a rope and a grappling hook. So to summarize, I need some sort of insulated protection, some way of remote viewing, and a rope and grappling hook. I'll need a crossbow to fire the grappling hook too. Then, I need to head to some Morgul's base under the Chaos Temple in the southeast of the wilderness. Yes, I seem to remember that one of the guards in Verak knows the way to the Chaos Temple. You should speak to him. Yeah, what was his name? Hertzwitz or something like that? We know who we're talking about. Well, as it is, I'm not wearing these yellow stripy boots just for the fashion statements. No, those are in fact insulated boots that you would use in a Slayer assignment to kill a killer what? Killer killer what? Eh, that's a tongue twister right there. No, it's all it's all, it's not that bad. Basically, I should be immune to the shocks in the sewer. I brought along a ravenous locust for my remote viewing, although I believe a macaw would work just as well. Uh, let's see, a rune crossbow and a mithril hammer, nothing too fancy there, pretty standard stiff. And that really should be about everything I need. Let's just hope that I can make it within the five minute time window and not horribly screw things up. So let's go on up to these uh, towers here. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, Rune Lab is uh, starting up pretty soon. Voting will begin, the player suggested content for the game. So I've been working with a couple of different people for a couple of ideas that are involved in that. One of them being the, um, what was it called? Pony Express. An idea of using horses finally in the game, but uh, for delivering messages, kind of like a mini game. But we'll see if that actually works out. Heartwin, it wasn't Hertzwitz, it was Heartwin. Ah, it started with an H, I was close enough. All right, do you think you can take me to his base? Absolutely, yes, I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. All right, now. I don't remember where to find notes K through Z. I feel like they're probably supposed to be around here somewhere, but for the life of me, I don't remember where. So, eh, it's not really that important. It's kind of cool for the sake of the lore. And you know what? If I were, uh, if I were the completionist, then I would be doing that. But I am not. I am most certainly not. Okie dokie dory. Let's just get on through here. So I hope you guys have all been doing well. It's only been a couple of days since I recorded the last episode. No new developments. Haven't even read the comments yet, but I hope you're enjoying this quest. And I hope you guys have ideas on where this is going next. I'm thinking the temple at Seniston makes the most sense, but you tell me if you agree. Alright. We are through this door. I have a song stuck in my head. It's driving me nuts. It's, uh... It's from a movie called Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. It's a really freaky weird movie, I'm gonna admit. Like, seriously, it's it's bizarre. But kind of cool and artistic in its own sort of way. I, I don't really know how to describe it. If you want to know what it is, I recommend you go and look at it. Whoops, I don't want to mute it. I just want the music off for this part. Yeah, if you want to go and see what that is, look it up on YouTube. I'm sure it's there somewhere. But Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. Weird, stinking movie, and Yali and I had no idea how to interpret it. We both kind of walked away with a sense of, what the heck? We just stumbled into the weird version of Netflix, didn't we? Yeah, we pretty much did. All right, everybody, here's what's going to happen. We're going to get through this pipe. We're going to navigate through this electrical area stuff, and we're going to try to get through this entire puzzle within, like, what, five minutes or something? Can we do it? Is this the impossible mission? We're going to find out. My mission, and I have chosen to accept it, is to save her off. Here we go! 
boots protect me from the electricity. All right, we're in good shape. Oh, look at those purple electricity. I wish I had the ability to shoot electricity. It would make me feel especially good. Okay, you know what? I just realized we're deep underground on an important mission. Time to put on the mask and goggles. No heist would be complete without them. Come on, here we go, here we go. Look at that. It's a killer watch in a cage. Wow, killer watts, they got quite a, quite an upgrade. It didn't used to be called that. All right, so we're through here, and I'm gonna summon my ravenous locust. Sup, buddy? Interact? I want to look a remote view. I'm not sure using my locust will come in useful soon, but I've not got a good enough reason to risk sending it off. What? No, you should. Hello? Uh, la 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 la. Need some way to remotely interact. Remove you. I wouldn't worry. Nobody is going to notice a locust flying around a dungeon. Looking through the bug's eyes, everybody. Wait until the patrolling zombies have moved. Look at my bug just floating there from the other end of the pipe. And time to go through. Here we go. Climb through the pipe. And kablamo. Let's go to the room down here to the south. Stick with me, buggy bug bug. Uh, let's see here. Search the table. Nothing there, nothing there. Some strange pieces of paper with holes in them. That looks good. We'll search this table real quick. Find some interesting looking notes. Oh, there's the K through Z notes. Well, now we know. Uh, la 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 la. What am I supposed to be doing here? I am looking in here, right? Uh. I thought there was, oh, there it is, okay, hang on. Chest, pick lock, pick lock. Managed to pick the lock, open it up. I found a looking card, read the code. F-C-G-H, okay, F-C-G-H, F-C-G-H, F-C-G-H. Don't forget that, everybody. Let's go to the middle door, here we go, here we go, hunky-dory. Doors are firmly locked, I see a keypad. Operate keypad. Okay, F-C-G-H, that means we wanna get this over here. All right, F, so one, here goes, whoops, hey, there we go, okay, two, F, gosh darn it, why are you doing this? There we go, F, C, so eight, okay, G, 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 and H, four, one, eight, six, Four, one, eight, six, four. Boom. Open the door. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Okay, this is the tricky part. This is where I have to do some respectfully difficult acrobatics, or we can just grapple onto the pipe. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's wield. Wield, Kablamo. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Okay, is this one of those Indiana Jones situations where I need to replace it with something especially interesting? I don't really know, but we'll see. Okay, so I think, I think, I think we just go for it. Ready? Click. Very, very carefully put the heart in the jar. Now, to take this back to Ali the Wise, so we can think of a way to help Arav. Wait, is that it? That's it. That's it. The mission is complete, everybody. It's complete. Well, that was a little less, less exciting than I was hoping it would be. I'll meet you guys over at Ali the Wise, and I'll turn over the heart and see what we can do to save Arav. Sound good? Meet you there. Well, here we are again, except this time I'm looking substantially cooler. I have red goggles and a mask, a crossbow, and a giant bug following me around. And a heart pumping away in a canopic jar. Booyah, everybody! So how is the Great Heart Robbery coming along? Oh, that's funny, because there's a, there, you see there's a quest called the Great Brain Robbery? Yeah, yeah, never mind. I've done it, Ali! I've got the heart! Not sure what to do with it, mind you. That is excellent news. Let's have a look at it. Hand over the heart. Wow, this is really interesting. It's still beating perfectly. Well, you've done lots of hard work so far. I suppose it's my turn to do lots of research. 
and figure out how to get his back inside the Rav so that he can finally escape the Morrigal. That's very good of you. It's the least I can do. A Rav is a great hero, after all. Anyway, we're making a great team. You've done really well. I feel we're making great progress bringing those nasty Majara down a peg or two. Wow, that was shorter than I thought it would be, to be honest. I thought this was going to be a heck of a lot harder. Woo, 30,000 mining XP. Score! That actually gave me a much better lineup of, uh, of XP than I'm accustomed to in this game. Let's destroy these decoder slips. Let's take a look at our treasure hunter keys real quick. Don't worry, the episode's not over yet. I wouldn't stop after only like 10 minutes. That wouldn't be very fair to you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys wait hard and subscribe and be all good sorts of people. I feel like I owe it to you guys. I absolutely owe it to you. Let's get a little extra Slayer XP, some Herblore XP. Cool. Now, I can talk to um, him and I talk about, I have interesting information. I can talk to him about all sorts of different quests. I can give him all the tablets I've furrowed, follow, uh, ah, furrowed, furrowed, gathered. Why am I saying follow? I read what he was saying at the same time. Uh, whatever. Anyway, I'll do all that and I'll, later. That doesn't even matter. What to do now? Gee, I don't freaking know. Um, how about we go home? Yeah, let's 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 go home. I have had so many people asking to see my house. Guys, I don't know why you guys are so gosh darn interested in my house because it's nothing special. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deflate your expectations right here, right now. It's very basic, primarily because I don't see much reason in wasting a ton of money on a house until I'm kind of max level or, you know, it's gonna be where I want it to be. Why spend a ton of money on gold leaf to get an opulent table when I'm gonna be replacing it with a marble block later? I don't know. There is a couple of nice things in here though, so I'll just pop on over. So yeah, this is still the house. Haven't really done any gardening. It's still, you know, a sizable two stories and stuff. The throne room is conspicuously empty. And uh, this is where I spend most of my time, to be honest. I spend the majority of my time over here at the workbench. Doing nothing especially nice. One marble fireplace. Haven't upgraded everything. Currently in the middle of working on a portal room and getting all that stuff together. Camelot teleport. Because there is no nice way to get to, to Camelot. Kitchen is fully upgraded. But the most important thing that I have in this building is definitely my gilded altar. Which I actually just built a couple weeks ago. Man, you can get some really fast and easy uh, ex prayer XP. Much faster than the Ecto Funkus, I find. Lots to upgrade, though. I want to get some nice opulent rugs. I really wish I didn't have to have Guthix or Zamorak or Ceradomen here. I really wish I could have a symbol of Zeros, but for some bizarre reason, I have not included that in the game. They'll they'll throw in the treasure trails for Armadilla and Bandos and Zeros and whatever else, but they just they just won't get that they just won't get Zeros over here in the prayer prayer houses. That's just it's just silly. We have a couple of spare bedrooms up here in the top, some good real estate. This is of course my room. Hasn't been upgraded in a long time. I literally have not been upstairs in months because why? But you can tell it's my room because it's attached to the giant room full of fancy dresses and toys and treasures and magical wardrobes and whatever else. Did I even put anything in here? I actually don't remember. Mystic robes. No, I don't think I've put anything in some of these things. Man, my house is like in such horrible disrepair, I have not even bothered using this thing. Oh, a mime costume. Well, gee, how can I do without the mime costume? Let's put that on real quick. Yay, having a house is so worth it. So yeah, that's the house you guys have been asking to see. It's nothing special. There are a lot of things to upgrade, and I mean a stinking lot. But, you know, I've decided it's just not worth spending my money on. I have plenty of planks that I can use to train on, but why buy the marble blocks and the gilded leaf and whatever else? Because, you know what? It's really stinking hard saving up for things like Armadil's armor and... Well, this guy's got it. He understands how this works. But how to get a full set of Armadil, how to get a dragon pickaxe... I mean, I'm making progress, it's happening, but it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to get the full set. So, you know, five and almost a half mil just don't go as far as they used to. Ugh, really, really hard to get money these days. At least for me. I don't really know any way better than the papayas with the fruit bat and whatever else. That's the best way I can think of right now. Anyway, guys, hope that answers most of your questions on that front. You've seen my stat. You pretty much are up to date. I think I've addressed most of the requests. Now it's moving on to the quest... Temple at Sentiston. I can do that now, right? Or am I missing something? Let's take a quick look-see. Oh, I'm missing something. 
What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? T, T, T. Temple at Sentiston. I need kudos with the Varrock Museum. Ah, that's no problem. I've definitely done enough stuff for that. Cool. So we're gonna be able to do the Temple at Sentiston next. And uh, you'll see where that's going, but it's a pretty exciting quest, and it's going to unlock some pretty awesome stuff. If you enjoyed this episode, then be sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, check out some of my other series, because I've been having a lot of fun doing those, and I will see you guys next time!